This is a demonstration of electric charge. I'm going to be using this Van de Graaff generator hand cranked for your viewing pleasure. I will be, uh, first we'll turn out the lights. I'll turn this, well, basically how you generate charge is turning this wheel. This uh, um, band spins and rubs off charge and then you can get sparks here. So let me demonstrate first with the lights out that we're really getting electricity here and then we'll have some more fun. Okay, I'm turning the crank and bringing this sphere in near contact with the other sphere. Um, then we're going to try putting some uh, paper plates with foam peanuts on top here. And what we hope to be able to see is that the electric charge will charge these peanuts, then all being charged with the same charge, they'll repel each other. Because like charges repel. And they'll, they'll head out for, the, for Timbuktu. Coming toward me, I'm a real magnet for peanuts. And then we have uh, the, uh, which, which gives us the idea now that we can stack some paper plates on here and see if we can get enough charge for these paper plate or uh, um, tin plates to repel each other enough to, to, to move off. So these uh, uh, pie tins are actually repelling each other in the same way that the foam peanuts did. And once, they, once two plates acquire the same type of charge, either positive or negative, they repel each other and come apart. And finally, let's uh, see what this does to your hair. We could have somebody come up here and put their hand on here and watch their hair come on in. Um, or we can just use this cute little mop. Um, it's a nice hairstyle. So that's a Van de Graaff generator. Um, the same thing happens to your shirt when you bring it out of uh, the dryer on a hot day, on a, on a um, dry day when the humidity is low you get the best effects with, um, with static electric charge. Same thing happens if you rub a, a balloon in your hair, there's charge transfer and your hair can then start uh, standing on end. The uh, same thing happened to my brother on the top of uh, White Rock Mountain where um, 15 seconds after he stood on the top of the mountain, um, lightning struck. So just before he, uh, I was right behind him on the mountain. It's 11,500 foot mountain, 10,500 feet, I think, in the Wind River Range. And um, he got to the top before I did. There, there's a little kind of peak at the top and um, touched the top. And I looked up there and I said, we were both teenagers and it was the 70s and hair grew a little longer in those days. And, and I said, uh, David, your, your hair is standing on end. And he didn't realize that. And he, uh, so we beat it off the top of the mountain. I didn't get to the top because I didn't want to get electrocuted. And uh, about 15 seconds later, about uh, 15 feet away, the, the lightning struck and um, it was very loud. And there was no delay between the lightning and the thunder. Thank you.